What's up guys, Brunsnick's back. When should you use a pearl asymmetric ball with the pin down versus a pearl asymmetric ball with the pin up? Today I'll be testing a radical katana assault with the pin down versus a Columbia 300 madness with the pin up. Two balls with similar properties and hyperkinetic 22 pearl technology. When will be the best time to use these balls in the lanes? What are the reaction differences and what will be best for you? I'll be getting the bowling balls out on the lanes with specto data so we can see them side by side and heads up against each other. Before we get to all that, please subscribe to my channel. Now, let's see Radical Katana Assault versus the Columbia 300 Madness. All right, it is comparison time of sorts. We're gonna talk about pin down versus pin up on especially asymmetric bowling balls. What's the big deal? What's the difference? And what kind of differences are you going to see from different parts of the lane? I have Specto running, so we're going to show some data in between all the shots. We're going to get them out in different zones, test them out heads up. For this test, I have the Katana Assault versus Columbia 300 Madness. The Katana Assault is with a 5-inch pin down, or it might be 4 and 7, 5. It's close. It's almost 5-inch pin down. Um, and the Madness is 60 by 5 by 20. So mass bias on this one's a little further out. We think I get this one to about uh, 45, 40 in there on the layout wise. Uh, so we're gonna test them out side by side, try to make some good shots and see what they do on the lanes. All right, starting out. Okay. Shot one, tripping fours. That's that lovely katana carry. Now everybody's got their preference, right? Pin down, pin up, what do you like to see? Now some have high track so they can't really use pin downs, but that's okay. Um, this is gonna show the difference between ball performance for pin down versus pin up at different angles. So, okay, side by side, similar zone, similar hit. Let's take a look at the Specto data. In the first shot, the Madness actually picked up a little bit sooner on the lane, even though it was thrown a little bit harder. Lay down board and launch angle were essentially the same on this shot. These two balls were virtually identical from the straighter angles with not much discernible difference between the two. To my eye, look like Madness had maybe just a touch more back end. You know, we'll look at the Specto data later. We'll do some, uh, you know, overviews and, and voiceovers. But just off the bat there, pinup one seems to respond a little bit harder from out. Let's try another shot. We're five boards left now, a little swing. Oh, that thing split crazy there. Did I break something? I don't know. So from straighter angles, you know, I think we're definitely going to see a, a little bit of difference. And I think that's going to be in relation to control of the pocket. Now let's throw the Katana, which has about the same surface now that they've lane shine. In that same spot, I think this ball is just going to kind of be a little bit more of a smoother transition in the pins there. Side by side, similar zone, similar hit. Let's take a look at the Specto data. In shot two, once again, these two were very close to one another in terms of laydown board and launch angle we're starting to see slight differences with how the ball is responding through the pins. And that will become more apparent later. So the main differences you're gonna see with pin down versus pin up is gonna be flare, right? So when you start drilling the pin down stuff, the flare rings are gonna be a little closer together. That's gonna give you a little bit less overall hook potential, but a smoother transition. You know, the, the hook window is not gonna be as crazy sharp and as crazy quick. So that'll result into more continuation on the back. 
but you might have issues moving in and getting the ball through the pins from steeper angles. Nice shot. Looked like they got to about six or seven board. So we'll try to do the same with Columbia Madness. Look at the pins pretty nice. Just kind of more, uh, more even on that ball. Let's switch it up. Okay, let's look at the side-by-side. -side. And now let's check out the Specto data. Shot three is where we see our biggest difference, with the Katana starting up sooner and is smoother overall. This results in about three and a half boards more hook for the Madness with the pinup layout. While the impact angle was much higher on the Katana, the Madness still hooked more, even though it rolled a little more forward at the end. All right, so we saw more overall hook. As the ball got out a little bit wider on that one, saw friction and went up and responded hard. So now let's start moving further left. Now we're 15 left to where we began. Let's start swinging it through the oil a little bit. And I think we're going to start seeing some separation between the two. About seven. Great shot. I think got out to about seven or so. Kind of rode the oil a little bit. So it'll be very interesting to see what the pin down ball does, whether it can re respond still, or is it gonna come behind the head pin or push through the zone even. Wow, let's take a look at them side by side and the specto data to follow. We're starting to see more evidence of the smoother and slower response from the Katana versus the Madness in this test. Both balls get out to the, about the same break point, but at a different part of the lane. This results in two and a half boards more overall hook with it being all in the back end. Also notice the difference in entry angle between the two balls. This shows you how quick the initial response to friction is. This angle is perfect for the madness, as you can see the increase in impact angle as well, leading to a much greater pin deck exit board compared to the Katana with the pin down. All right, so that was very evident with pin down being a slower response and not seeing that friction earlier and changing direction like madness did, where we're in the wrong zone now, you know, throwing it the same way over the same line, you know, without slowing it down and get it through. Now as the lanes dry up more, pin down may become an option, but generally as you start moving further in like we're doing, we're gonna move another five to 20, the pin down stuff, unless you're just seeing some really dry lanes, is not gonna be the best ball for you. That's about five. Oh, late carry. It's just not able to continue and, and change that direction, as Mo always says, but mostly with symmetrical balls, is bring your spare ball, kids. All right, let's throw one more shot with Madness. Let's get this ball out to five board. Let's see if we see a little difference in response here. And we'll wrap up this video. side by side. Let's check out the Specto. In the last shot, these balls were thrown virtually right on top of each other with the same speed, lay down board, and launch angle. The pinup madness hooks a little bit more on the back end and has a little bit more entry angle, finishing through the pins rather than hitting light. All right, so I hope that showed a little bit of difference between pin down asymmetrical balls, both of these being pearls, and pin up asymmetrical balls 
when each one is a little better suited. Now playing straighter angles when the lanes are fresh, you can blend out those wet dry conditions with a pin down. Now when you start moving in, you're really going to need that, pin, that flare separation in order to get the ball back, you know, and get it back through the pins. Unless you have a lot heavier hand or you're just a slower ball speed, typically the pin up is going to be better from playing open angles or the pin down is going to be better playing straighter angles and controlling the pocket. As you slow that hook window down and lengthen it out, it changes the response on the back end and that's why you see the ball not getting through the pins with the katana. So I hope that helped. What do you guys think? Pin up, pin down on the pearls. When do you use each? When do you have better success? Let me know in the comments. And as always, please subscribe.